This is going to be a very nerdy video, because chances are the vast majority of the people who aren't nerds will have no clue what the hell I'm talking about. But if you're a Linux person, and you've ever done any installation of a more complex distro, like Arch, or Gentoo, or Void, or any of these distros that kind of make you get into the nitty-gritty of what Linux is, you've probably come across the term wheel group. And... I've come across this many times when I've installed Arch or when I was messing around even with Debian the other day. You know, I've come across this term wheel group and I wondered, what the hell does that mean? Why is it called wheel? Now, before we get into the origin stories, which is what I want to talk about today, let's first talk about what the wheel group is. And it's really simple. So first, if you don't know, a Linux group is basically a group of users on your computer that are assigned certain privileges. The wheel group in particular is a group of people who have administration privileges, meaning that they can access the root of your computer through su or sudo. So, for example, if you were a user and you weren't in the wheel group, you would not be able to install anything because you couldn't use sudo privileges without knowing this, the root password. So, basically what it does, if you have a user in the wheel group, you can use sudo to install programs or run administrative commands. So, basically, that's what the wheel group is. But it's a weird name, right? Like, why don't you call it the root group or the administrative group or literally anything else? Why is it called the wheel group? It's always bothered me. Like, why is it called the wheel group? How does that correlate to being a group on Linux? It doesn't make any sense, right? So... The curious guy in me finally got around to looking it up. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Why is the wheel group called the wheel group? I told you this was going to be nerdy. So let's jump in. So as a lot of things do in Linux, the wheel group originated with a man called Richard Stallman. Now, Richard Stallman is one of the most controversial guys in the Linux community, or the open source community, I suppose is really what you should say. And we're not going to get into that. I don't care whether you like Richard Stallman or you don't like Richard Stallman. That's not the point of the video. But the wheel group originated with him. And we don't really know why. We don't know why he called it the wheel group. As far as I can tell from the research I've done, now granted it's a small amount of research, but I have done some research, we don't really know why he called it that. The only thing we have is this three-paragraph statement over what the wheel group really kind of means, and the origins of it. So basically, it, sp it states that a group of administrators changed the operator password for a Twinix, a system, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, because I have no clue what it was. I wasn't born in 1984, so not a clue what that is. Something at the MIT AI lab, and, and they were keeping it secret from everybody else. He was able to get past that by changing the kernel. Uh, however, occasionally the rulers do tell everybody, so he's basically tell. It, it's really confusing, right? Under the usual sue mechanism, once someone learns the root password who sympathizes with the ordinary users, he or she can tell the rest. The wheel group feature would make this impossible and thus cement the power to the rulers. So basically he says that the wheel group exists so that not all the power in the Linux system, or the GNU system in this case, resides with just one person. It's not just with the root. It can give the power to any number of people, anybody who's in the wheel group. Uh, and he says, I'm on the side of the masses, not the, the of the rulers. So it's a very weird statement from a very weird guy. And it doesn't tell you jack squat about why he called it wheel or really, I mean, anything other than what the wheel group kind of is. So again, I ask, why is it called the wheel group? And the answer is, or at least the answer that I've been able to come up with, is that it's named after something called Big Wheel. So let's take a look at that. So as is very common, the answer that I found is given on Stack Exchange. So whether or not this is true, I can't actually tell you, but I've found it in multiple places. Whether or not all those people got it from the same place, I don't know. It's possible. But this person here asked, where did the wheel group get its name? And one of the answers is the one that I'm thinking is true, but I'm not actually sure. It ha does have some source links. They said that the wheel is from the slang big wheel for a powerful person. A person who has an active wheel bit 
the traditional name of a security group, Zero, in BSD, to which a major system internal users like root belong, is wheel. And then a wheel bit is also helpfully defined, this person says, is a privilege bit that allows the possessor to perform some restricted operation on a time sharing system such as read or write any file on the system regardless of protections change or look at any address in the running monitor crash or reload the system and kill or create jobs and user accounts okay so we're getting closer so we've come up with the term big wheel now the question then becomes what does big wheel mean and according to this thread here this is exactly what it means yeah that's a big wheel. Now, whether or not this is true, I don't know. I have no clue. If we follow some of these links, apparently we'll get a dis definition of big wheel as another way to describe an important person. A big wheel may be head of a company, a political leader, a famous doctor. They are big wheels because they are powerful. They what they do affects many persons. Big wheels give or the orders. Other people carry them out. As in many machines, a big wheel makes the little wheels turn. So this is where the origin of wheel comes from, because obviously the wheel group is a group that gives users power. So if you're a member of the wheel group, you could be technically called a big wheel. Weird, right? Now, like I said, very nerdy, but kind of also kind of interesting. Now, I think that the reason why most people kind of don't correlate the term big wheel with like big wig or something is because we don't really know what a big wheel is. That little tyke thing that has a big wheel probably hasn't been around since the 90s. I don't actually know if they still make them anymore. It's possible. I know that back in the 90s, I had one when I was much smaller than I am now. So they did still make them in the 90s, but apparently they were much more popular back in the post-World War II era. I do also know that they had uh, like a tricycle one that was made out of like probably metal of some kind. And it probably had like lead paint on it and everybody who ever rode one is probably dead now. But uh, <laughs> they've been around for a long time. And apparently that little toy made it into the vernacular of English to become known as someone who held power over others. And that translated all the way down back into the 1980s when GNU slash Linux was first being, well, I'm mean really GNU, and then uh, Linux was you know being put together and BSD and all that kind of stuff into this whole wheel group thing. And that's where wheel group comes from, supposedly. Again, it's 100% possible that the Stack Exchange article has led me wrong. I have clicked on the links, and I've read the stuff. Uh, I had no clue that Big Wheel was anything more than just a toy. I had no clue. So that's, that was very interesting. So that's it for this video. If you want to get in contact with me, you can do so at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment, all that kind of stuff below. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2 is fun too. Marcus, Meglin, Sven, Jackson, Knife and Tool, Joshua Lee, Mitchell, Mr. Fox, Art Center, American Camp. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.